explain that game from your perspective? Because in the opening 20 minutes, it looked that you were so dominant that, and a couple of chances went begging, it looked to be almost game over, and then it turned around. Unfortunately, I can't explain that. Um, I think, you know, we, we probably controlled the, the ball a little bit better in first 15, 20 minutes. We created better chances. Uh, but then, for some strange reason, I think we were overconfident and there were too many flicks, too many things that maybe was not the right moment to try. Um, and then the game just became transitional. So then there was a fast transition from Adelaide, then we won the ball, then was a fast transition from us. And, uh, you know, in that game, you never know who's going to win um, and who's going to use those transitional moments. But the problem is that we had we had a lot of players that are you know not not 100 percent, and they need to be a little bit uh, uh, looked after from the from the ma game management point of view, and we failed in that. So we had to take them off, unfortunately, because they were just cooked, and uh, that is probably the main reason why we, we failed at the end. Is, you, I mean, you had this incredible pressing game, you were nice and tight, and then perhaps after that incident when Reyes and uh, Hiroshi, the clash of heads, and then it completely turned, the discipline seemed to disappear. Would, did they lose focus, do you think, after that through their team? I, I don't know. I, you know, I need to talk to them and, and see what was the reason, but, you know, even, even through that transition game, as I said, anyone can score a goal. We, we've got uh, weapons in, in transition game as well. Uh, but, you know, we, we copped first two goals from set pieces and, and, you know, that is something that, you know, we, we did not expect. We, we, we worked on it, but we just uh, poorly marked uh, their op op opponents uh, in the second phase and I think that is uh, something that we obviously have to improve. In the, the first 20 minutes, obviously talking about how dominant you were um, and creating a lot of chances, it just seemed you had an extra man always always in the middle with just so much space for you. Was that a, an area of focus going into the game, really winning that, that midfield battle? Uh, look, you know, when, when someone is pressing with two and we've got three midfielders, you know, one of our midfielders will be free all the time. And, uh, you know, we, we managed to find a free player and, you know, we control the game from that point of view. Uh, but uh, obviously, you know, second half, as I said, we just started to give the ball away, started to take some unnecessary risks. We, we were not uh, clean in our passing, in our controlling. And that's just ABC of football, you know. I think that's where we failed in those moments where we should have kept the ball a little bit better. Uh, and definitely for a longer period of time, you know, so because w what happens is if our attack lasts only five seconds, their front three or front four are still walking back. And if we lose, they're ready to go transition. And, you know, this is, you know, what players didn't understand, that we need to wait for them to come back and then we can control the, the, control the game, you know, through rest defence. But unfortunately, we just didn't do that. You know, there was a... a, a lack of numbers in, in their back, back line and we just thought we we're going to go through it and uh, unfortunately you know, sometimes we made just too many mistakes. Was this a, the case as well when you got the second goal because there was probably another a good 10 minutes after that where you did have a good period and is this what you're talking about that particular time taking the wrong risks or taking unnecessary risks was that that moment in the match as well? Yeah, yeah. So, so every time, you know, you kind of want to uh, expose the, their weakness, opponents' weaknesses, and you know, if you can create two v one situation in wide area, so th that's the weakness. So, you know, can can we penetrate down that side, and then can we do something? So now, all of all of Adelaide players are facing their own goal. Um, and you know if they can clear it, they, they, it will go for the for the corner. So you, you are still in, in in your attacking third, but for some strange reason we start coming inside and then we start some flicks. Uh, and it's not like we don't practice, you know, coming inside, but it was just like wrong options at, at, at the wrong time, and uh, we gave the ball away.
Um, Rada, what is it about Adelaide? This precedes your time in the men's setup, but last season, only time City beats Adelaide's in extra time. This season, the loss and the draw. City has been one of the more dominant sides the last couple of years. Why do you think it, they're always your side always seems to struggle against Adelaide? Uh, look, I can't talk in in past, but uh, last two games, you know, if you if you look back at uh, at Melbourne, you know, we gifted them two goals inside. I don't know, first goal was like in, in, inside first five five minutes, um, and then we managed to control the game from three one. Uh, we scored two goals, and uh, I think we controlled had like seventy percent of possession. That was uh, like our best game that we played. You know, uh, regarding the, the the possession, creating chances, and and, and controlling the game with with, with attack. Uh, but you know, this game was just got out of the hands for for unnecessary reason. And uh, you know, they they are blessed with speed, and they are very good in in transition. And you know, that's their bread and butter. So. And just following up with that, they haven't been able to stop you, your side from scoring. You do score quite heavily against Adelaide, but they're one of the teams that scores heavily against you. Is it maybe, I guess you mentioned before, how they press you, how they attack you? Do they seem to be doing something differently than other sides that takes advantage maybe of your side's frailties? Look, I mean, the, the quality they, they've got, obviously, are, are very, very good crossing. Uh, both Halloran and uh, Goodwin are world class when it comes to crossing uh, and, and they put you under sustained pressure you know with, with uh, balls into the penalty box and not just us they, they, they do to everyone you know so I thought we control that that part of the game you know especially in the first uh, 40 something minutes quite well uh, but then yeah in the set pieces that was just like we did not stay with, with, with opponents um, long enough and they, they scored two goals, you know, from, from, from set, set pieces and from the delivery into the penalty box. So something that we, we spoke about, something that we worked towards, and, uh, but again, they, we, we failed in that, from that point of view. And just news from New Zealand that um, Steven Ugarkovic won't be staying with the Wellington Phoenix, and reports have come out that maybe there's been discussions with City and they met that maybe um, Aidan O'Neill might be off. Do you have anything to share on that front today? No, no, I, I can't. They're all just speculation. I mean, uh, we are still talking to Aiden, and uh, I don't think that he's got a club at the moment. So, you know, we would like to keep as many as many players as, as we can. Uh, but, yeah, they are just speculation at the moment. And just finally, Nesta Irakunda, special talent, again, comes on in a game against the top quality side, your side, how do you see him as a talent? What do you think his ceiling is? How has he impressed you this season? Oh, he's been, he's been fantastic. Uh, I watched uh, him live against Melbourne Victory last week. He came on, he scored a goal. He comes on, he scores a goal. So he's just an unbelievable talent. And, uh, you know, I, I think uh, he can go a long way, absolutely. And, uh, you know, hopefully, with the national team's exposure, I can get a good club overseas and then progress uh, overseas because I think uh, you know there's a, there's a very bright future in, in him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.